Hi, my name is Ophir Gabay, and today I wanted to go over how to record a bounce check in QuickBooks Online. I'm going to be using a blank company file that's brand new. It currently has no transactions in it, as you can tell by looking at the balance sheet. Oh, really quickly, I just wanted to, for those of you that didn't know, you could open, you could actually open two browser windows um, for the same QuickBooks file. That way you could be in two sections of the company file at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the balance sheet open on the left hand side of your screen and on the right hand side of the screen I'm going to be doing all the work and then we're going to see the results as I enter each uh, transaction. Now the first transaction in the sales process is actually going to be to invoice the customer. So you do that by clicking the plus sign on the top of your screen and under the customer column you click invoice. Now I am going to be invoicing ABC Company in the uh, for accounting services in the amount of one thousand dollars. Click save and close to save the invoice. And as you see right here, we have one currently open invoice. And on the balance sheet, if we refresh it, you'll see that. We currently have $1,000 in accounts receivable and $1,000 in net income for the services we just invoiced. The next step would be to actually receive the payment on that invoice. You click it, you click receive payment right here to do that. And we receive the payment from ABC Company. The payment method is going to be check and the reference number would be a check number for examples well let's assume it's check number 215 and it's going to be deposited into undeposited funds click save and close now quickly I'll show you what happens to the balance sheet the $1,000 gets put into undeposited funds because we have not yet put that into the bank account we haven't deposited the money in there so it's sitting in undeposited funds next step would be to actually deposit the money into the bank account and you do that by clicking the plus sign at the top of your screen and under the other column you click bank deposit you select the existing payment which we only have one which is the, the current payment that they just made uh, in the amount of one thousand dollars you click save and close let's refresh the balance sheet and as you you should see the $1,000 is deposited into the checking account. Great. Now, we just received a letter from the bank saying that this check bounced. Now, how do we handle this? The way I handle this is to actually invoice the customer. And we're invoicing them because we want to put that money, the $1,000, we want to put it back into accounts receivable and take it out of the checking account and this is how you do it you're going to invoice ABC company and the product or service you're actually going to have to create a new product or service and the product or service is going to be called bounced check you can call it return check um, you know whatever you want to call it the income account is actually going to be your bank account because this is the account that's going to get credited Click save and close and you're going to want to put in a brief description because this is going to be an actual invoice that you're sending the customer and you're going to want to let them know why you're sending them this, this invoice so let's put return check uh, number 215 and the check amount was for $1,000 so you're going to want to put that right here under the amount column now you're also going to want to charge them for uh, an NS NSF fee. This is the fee that the bank charges you. So you do that. You're going to have to add a new item. You add a new item. We, I'm going to call it NSF fee. And let's say we want to charge them $25. So you put that into the price rate section. And the income account is actually, we're going to leave it on services. You can actually create a new income account called um, NSF fees. 
if you want to keep track of how much income you're making from uh, non-sufficient funds uh, invoicing. I'm going to click Save and Close. And under the description, I like to put NSF fee. Now, as you see, the total invoice amount is going to be $1,025. That's going to be the $1,000 that bounced plus the $25 that we're charging them for the non-sufficient funds fee. Save and close. And there you have it. Now, as I refresh the balance sheet, you'll see that the $1,000 is removed from the checking account because the, the check balance, the check that they gave us, check number 215. And the 1025 is currently in accounts receivable because we have just invoiced them, uh, a new invoice, invoice number 1013, as you see right here. Um, the last invoice, they did pay it. And as you see in the status, it shows us paid and only the $1,025 is in accounts receivable and is currently open. And that, that, there you have it. That's the way you do it. That's the proper way to handle the balance check in QuickBooks Online. As you see, net income is only $1,025, which is the $1,000 that we invoiced them for accounting services, plus the $25 for the non-sufficient fund fee. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to call me. My number is 954-358-9487 or visit my website at www.firstclasstaxsolutions.com. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.